In 2015, I made a list of things that I feared were getting in the way of my career progression. The list included going back to study, a fear that I had given my difficult memories of being bullied in school, networking as I was incredibly shy and introverted, and lastly presenting because nothing instilled more fear in me than standing up in front of a group when I had spent my entire life hiding in the back of a room. So how did I get over the fear? I did them, not just once, but many, many times, and something interesting started to happen. These things I feared turned from something I dreaded into something I loved. When you do the thing you fear, the fear gets removed. Fear can keep us paralyzed. We get stuck in our thoughts about what could happen, but we can't know what the future holds. So there's no point in trying to predict the worst. It is in having the courage to go outside of your comfort zone that real growth happens. And the only way is with intentional action. But I admit it, it is really hard to get started. Here's one way I found to counteract the fear. Ask yourself, what small action towards my goal can I take right now? Through action, our attention is diverted away from our spiraling mind and unhelpful thoughts and more towards our present and moving forward. That's not to say that those feelings will go away. In fact, they're evolutionary. It's what our body and mind does to protect us. But these feelings don't last forever. And if we can sit with them, they will eventually pass. What I personally wouldn't recommend, and I say this as someone that has been down that road before, is numbing the fear and the discomfort that you may be feeling, even though it can be tempting. By doing so, we only further drive ourselves away from what we truly desire. We often think of fear as something that we get rid of, but what if instead of trying to do the impossible task of removing fear, we took it as an indication that we were heading in the right direction and instead face the fear? Can you take a guess as to what I do now for a living? You guessed it. I learn, present and continue to network. If I can do it, you can do it too.